It's 8.22 when the financial crisis hit in 2008. Attorney Peter Alessandria lost his job and he lost his law practice, unexpectedly forced to figure out a plan B. He turned to another passion of his, photography, and he has worked since then capturing New York life through his lens. Here's New York Times' Kristen Shaughnessy with the story. I basically lost my law business and I had to decide what I was going to do with the rest of my life. Queensborn Peter Alessandria had a pretty successful career going as an entertainment and intellectual property attorney in California when the Great Recession struck. He lost his principal client, a devastating blow to his practice. So he returned to New York and turned his passion for photography into his profession. It was scary, but I have to say there was a part of me, uh, Kristen, that knew that that was the right choice. We have a beautiful, clear day here. Completely self-taught, Alessandria quickly realized a photography career wasn't just about the pictures, so he created a four-point plan. Never give up, don't take anything personally, and do at least one thing every day to move your business forward. And the number four is forgive yourself if you don't do number one, two, and three. With that new mindset, Alessandria started seeing more success. His business is built around photographing fine art and commercial products and portrait photography. But he's gained acclaim for his photographs of New York skyline. He has won more than 60 photography awards and travels the world as an official photographer for the Gucci Fireworks Company. When I started, I couldn't imagine even entering a show, much less winning an award. You might have seen his photos of the moon behind city landmarks. This lens and this camera, it's literally like a telescope. So it brings distant objects closer. He now gives lectures, holds workshops, and sells signed, framed, limited edition prints of his work. So the thing for me was to begin to see myself differently, to begin to consciously and deliberately entertain thoughts that were empowering, that were positive, and that led for me to take action that was consistent with that. Many of his favorites are in his latest book, New York Cityscapes. You can photograph New York City maybe every day and get a different shot because of the weather, because of the light. I love the photography part, but if I can inspire somebody to be bigger than they think they are, to pursue their own dreams in life, that feels great. It's, uh, it's a story that so many people can relate to, mm -hmm. that something in the plan changes and you've got to pivot to something else. You always need a plan B, right? It, it, I mean, it, it, it's so true, but it, it's often plan B is the story of something that didn't work out. This is a case when it really did work out for him. He read a book. It was uh, something like follow your passion and learn to make money doing it. And that's what he did. And he, and he took him a while. He had, he said there's, you know, bumps and starts and stops along the way mm -hmm. and you just got to keep going. And, and he said, really, it was just kind of believing in himself, believing that he could get through those difficult times and, and keep going. And that's what he did. Now he teaches people about persevering and like changing it up and not being afraid. Yeah, is he teaching them about photography or is he teaching them he's about, teaching about them life? About, he's teaching them about both. An interesting story, he was down in Colombia, South America. A lot of the kids didn't speak English. He was speaking to college students. They were connected through his photography, through their interest in New York City. And he said he had this other teenager come up to him while he was shooting around the city mm -hmm. and said, hey, you're that guy who's been talking around the city. He said, my friend's been talking about you. Not only does he like photography, but he also is now going to pursue his passion because of what you told him. What else is he working on? He's working on, he's, he's got another book that he's working on that's coming out. The New York City Scapes is out now. He'll be at B&H, he'll be there in January on the 20th. And uh, he likes to just kind of go and do these lectures. You know, he's with Gucci, so he travels the world with them. He'll be there on New Year's Eve as well. They'll be around the world. <laughs> and, and, and his, uh... <laughs> You know, his goal, obviously, is to earn a living, but, but he, he seems to draw some energy from the fact that he's inspiring other people. He really, he said his passion now has sort of been, become teaching, as much as photography is, but mm -hmm. he can, you can combine those two talents very easily. In fact, his niece is, she's 12 years old, and he said, wow, she really has this eye that I didn't know, and she loves it. So he's been teaching her as well. Well, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but it's value priceless for attorney Peter Alessandria, who turned to photography when he lost his job and his law practice when the financial crisis hit back in 2008. I caught up with him to find out what it's like capturing New York life through his lens. I basically lost my law business and I had to decide what I was going to do with the rest of my life. Queensborn Peter Alessandria had a pretty successful career going as an entertainment and intellectual property attorney in California when the Great Recession struck. He lost his principal client, a devastating blow to his practice. So he returned to New York and turned his passion for photography into his profession. It was scary, but I have to say there was a part of me, uh, Kristen, that knew that that was the right choice. 
We have a beautiful clear day here. Completely self-taught, Alessandria quickly realized a photography career wasn't just about the pictures, so he created a four-point plan. Never give up, don't take anything personally, and do at least one thing every day to move your business forward. And the number four is forgive yourself if you don't do number one, two, and three. With that new mindset, Alessandria started seeing more success. His business is built around photographing fine art and commercial products and portrait photography. But he's gained acclaim for his photographs of New York skyline. He has won more than 60 photography awards and travels the world as an official photographer for the Gucci Fireworks Company. When I started, I couldn't imagine even entering a show, much less winning an award. You might have seen his photos of the moon behind city landmarks. This lens and this camera, it's literally like a telescope. So it brings distant objects closer. He now gives lectures, holds workshops, and sells signed, framed, limited edition prints of his work. So the thing for me was to begin to see myself differently, to begin to consciously and deliberately entertain thoughts that were empowering, that were positive, and that led for me to take action that was consistent with that. Many of his favorites are in his latest book, New York Cityscapes. You can photograph New York City maybe every day and get a different shot because of the weather, because of the light. I love the photography part, but if I can inspire somebody to be bigger than they think they are, to pursue their own dreams in life, that feels great. Alessandra says for every success, there will be a number of failures, and you have to use each one as an opportunity to grow. He wants everyone to figure out what their passion is and then find a way to monetize it.